Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So I just got myself a pair of new boots. As you can see, my old ones are in pretty rough shape. I tried gluing those back together a couple of times, but got to the point where that just wasn't working. So uh, it's time to retire these. But before we do, I thought we might do one last thing with them in the way of a little science experiment. You know, specifically, these are ANSI-approved steel-toed safety shoes. Uh, I forget if it's ANSI Z41.3 or what the exact standard that covers safety toes is. Um, it's been quite a few years since I actually read the standard. But from what I remember, uh, it specifies uh, a static load and a drop test, but it doesn't provide any... Uh, guidance or any uh, specifications for ballistic protection. So I don't think that these are ballistically rated safety toes, but I am curious if someone was stupid enough to shoot themselves in the foot while wearing steel-toed boots and lucky enough for the bullet to actually hit the steel toe, would it provide any protection for them? Well, there's one easy way to find out. Now, of course, not all bullets are created equal with regard to their penetration capabilities. And so uh, I'm potentially going to test these with a variety of different calibers, but let's start off with a 22 rimfire. Okay, so you can see there's our 22 bullet hole in the leather covering. But, certainly doesn't look like anything came out the bottom of the shoe. Reaching around under here, I can't feel any perforation of the, the uh, steel safety toe from the underside. And actually, uh, it looks like we have a new tear in the leather right here, which could be from spalling if the bullet uh, impacted the steel toe and spalled off. And in fact, it looks like there is a piece of the bullet. Yeah, that's definitely lead in there. So, it looks like uh, this would actually provide some meaningful protection from a 22 pistol. Okay, uh, when I fired that shot, I bumped the camera and it stopped recording, so uh, I'm not sure if I actually captured that shot on video or not. I'll probably do a repeat just for good measure. But uh, it looks like we've got another tear in the toe. Uh, we've got a bigger hole from the bigger bullet. However, I don't feel any penetration. There's a big dent in the steel toe for sure. Um, you know, it seems like it's deformed, but it doesn't seem like the bullet actually went through the steel. And certainly there's no hole visible in the sole of the shoe. So again, let's redo the nine millimeter test just so I can make sure I've got that on video and get a second data point while we're at it. Okay, once again, I don't think it went through. Uh, you know, definitely even more deformation of the toe now. You can see it's, it's dented in pretty good there, uh, but it hasn't been penetrated yet. Next, let's try a 44 Magnum. Okay, so the 44 Magnum was a clear penetration. Went right through the steel toe, right through the sole, and into the dirt underneath the shoe. Uh, in fact, if we open this up a little. Yeah, so now that I've cut away some of the leather, you can see that that steel safety toe is just shattered in there. 
any toes underneath that would not have fared very well against the 44 Magnum. Now, you might think to say, well, wait a minute, you know, the 44 Magnum impacted pretty close to where the two 9mm shots had already hit the steel toe. You know, what if those previous shots had weakened it somehow? Well, I've got a second boot here uh, from the pair, so let's test the 44 Magnum on that and see if we get the same result. Yeah, that is unquestionably full penetration. Any toes inside that steel-toed boot would be in pretty bad shape right now. Okay, so I'm actually pretty impressed that uh, these were able to stop a 9mm bullet. But I still think the moral of our story is don't shoot yourself in the foot, even if you're wearing steel-toed boots, and especially not with a 44 Magnum. In any case, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.